I want you to see the method behind the madness of recursion and lists in Scheme. The code and stuff I, I really don't want you to worry about because it might be wrong. I still got to program it, but at least I'm, I'm in the ballpark. Let's put it that way. But I wanted to show you what I'm using to at least get into the field. First is the name of my function. This one's going to be return odd index list values. And notice I give the name. I also give an example of what I want and then what the name of that list is going to be. And basically, I want to make sure that I get every odd index, not the value, but the index for each one of them. The other part that I'm going to do is list all of my helper functions that we kind of already know, actually, through either topic that we're currently cover or the you know topics came of preceding here. That's going to be append, which I really originally thought might have been con, so notice my thought process being thought out here. I explain what it's going to do. Build the list. No, I'm going to check to see if it's the end of the list. CDDR, which is going to send the rest of the list, skip an element, and send the rest of the list. Car is going to get our first item in the current list. List with the question mark is going to really meant for validation to make sure it's actually passing in the list. And then I'm going to use a cons because I have several if-else conditions that I need to check. So that's helper functions. Could they be wrong? I bet some of them are. We'll see. We'll see. But... Again, I'm listing things out I know I'm going to have to use in the code. So notice, this is not a coded question yet. It's getting there because my last two items are something they should be familiar with, and that's a call stack and a value stack. So yes, I am using, frankly, what the stack should produce in order for us to get to our solution. So again, this is not all code yet. You know, I still need the cons of the checks of all those, and then this. So this is what's going to help me. I'm going to have the call of the function is shortened it. But again, I don't want you focusing on the code or anything else like that. But I want you to see that I use a call and a value stack to really help me all the way up to basically the base case. Notice I got a, co a couple of notes for myself that I got to double check as I'm coding this. But again, I'm worried about you understanding the whole kit and caboodle here as I'm designing a function I've never done before. You're going to have to do the same when it comes to your design, of especially the lab questions that are coming up. You're going to have to do this with your team, you and your team, and go from there. At least wanted to show you the design of what I'm doing that you're probably going to have to mimic in some fashion.